So it's time for a new tutorial. What shall we do today? Well, bought vid zone, and then you listen. Bought vid zone. <laughs> bought vid zone. Bought vid zone. It's almost there. It's like bought vid zone. In Swedish, we go up. Okay, um, skip. This. Well, first I do when I got new thing to shoot. I study it very, very carefully. I go to a window and I'm holding it up and looking at how the light falls, things starting to happen, you know? I can see how, how the patterns and the textile on the shoe, how it will behave in the light and uh, yeah. Because then I will get an idea how to start. I think this we should start with this pattern on the shoe. And today, as always, in Capture One Pro, to the right, the live view. And, and over there, we have the photos will end up over there. If I take, if I throw away this shoe and I take a shot, we will get a dark black almost, yeah. So let's start with this pattern on the shoe. So let's use the flash on the back. I will take it down because I want to show how I start and how I know how to light it. I will put it on and I have the guide light on. And do we see anything in the live view? Yeah, I'm starting to walk around with the flash in my hand. And then I put the light, you see in the live view there. And then I walk around and look if I see some, if there's something happening. I'm putting the light from the camera angle straight on. You know, it's often not so flattering. Why I put on this one is to spot the light a bit. Because if I'm litting it like this, it's a bit harder to see because the light is so big. Well, it is possible, but I prefer to have it a bit smaller because I know that I would like to have smaller light sources hitting it. Otherwise, we can just take out a soft, big softbox, but I don't want to have that style. So, where to place this? Well, I'm thinking that we should start with the, this pattern. If I'm light litting it from behind, it's starting to feel a bit more interesting. So if I put up this guy here and then I just take a shot, what do we get? Yes, you see, it's kind of nice, but it's a bit too much light, I think. What I like to do is that I'm using the edge of the light because I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm just touching the shoe a bit of the edge. Let's take another one. Yes, it's very dramatic. You see, we're getting this one and it looks very nice. And, um, and the next step is, I think, to show the Nike swoosh, the logo. And for that one, we will use this flash. Is it on? Guide light? There we go. And as, as always, I'm always telling you this, shut down everything. It's, this is impossible to see what you're doing, you know. Do we see anything in the live view? I will switch back to aperture priority. Yes. Because when I do like this, and you look into the live view, uh, there is the guide light. You know, it's impossible to see. So shut down everything. Totally dark. Because then you see what you're doing. Now I'm trying to hit this logo. And let's take a shot and see how that will look. Because now this was the first light. Let's shut off this again so we know what we're doing. Take a shot. First light. You see, this is the first light. And then I put on the second light. B on Nike logo. And I can turn off the first light and only the second light. You get it? Just two flashes. One on the logo and one on the back. Uh, let's put this back on. Take with both lights. And do we like this, this one? I would like to test a bit to see if I can... Yes. I think it, it's nice that you see this logo and this is also nice it's come from the other flash hitting this side and we will get a bit separation from the background you can take turn off the the led lights and take shots so we see with a more black background yes i think this is 
a nice spot for this light. You see a bit this zoom. Maybe it's a bit dark down here, but we can always add something there. And these shoestrings, they will get a bit light from this guy. The reason why I use these small light sources, and there is no diffusion going on, because the material is matte. It's matte all over. It's, there is no shiny, glossy surfaces on this shoe. And then I like to use small light sources, kind of a harsh light. I mean, the edges of the shadows, they are very uh, sharp. So it makes this uh, material come out even more. And, and the pattern will be very, as you see, you get a very punchy feeling to it when you're using these small light sources without any diffusion. I like this style. You can, of course, use you can just diffuse the light, but for this matte shoe, if you had a shiny shoe, then it would be great to use some diffusion. But for this, I think it's perfect. So now we have these two guys, and uh, do we need to do something more? Maybe it will be a bit too dark at the top of the shoe. I'm gonna shut off the LED lights in here and I'll take a shot so we can get a bit more black background. It will disappear into the background, maybe a bit too much. We can always add a third flash and, sh and light this small part, but we can all also just use this and um, use this flash that will bounce on this card and onto the shoe. Let's take a shot and see if it, something happens, yes? This is the card. Maybe it's a bit too much. Maybe we can go a bit, put it down a bit so it's not so... Yes, just a tiny bit so it doesn't disappear. That's nice. I like that. I want to go back to, to this part. I wonder if it's a bit too... If it's too non-dramatic. So if I turn it towards the background... Yes, you see? Now we get this more dramatic look. I like this. I wonder if it should be a bit higher up. Maybe this guy should be a bit higher up. Just tiny, 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 tiny bit. Test. Yeah, a bit more light over here. Then we have this. LED lights off. I need a black background. Yeah, I think it looks nice. What about this? Is it too lit up? Should we take it a bit? Maybe I will turn it one centimeter to the right. It will get a bit darker, more dramatic. It's kind of nice. Because you want to have this, it's like highlighted so it doesn't disappear. And a bit highlighted there so it doesn't disappear in the background. Going from bright to dark, a bit gradient style. A bit here from dark and then it is brighter. I would like to have it, maybe we need to be bit yes this is nice and um, i will turn off the modeling light modeling light off take a shot because i would like to have a black background as possible what did we get now okay yeah this looks nice maybe a bit can be a bit more down there maybe we should raise this up and then i need to turn on the guide light again i would just pull this up a bit something like this and take a test shot. Do we get a bit more bright? Yes. Now I moved it a bit closer so now it's a bit more highlighted down there. Okay, so you see it's ki it kind of easy it's just that it takes a long time to find where to place the flashes. That's why I take them off and then I walk around and test. I'm not shooting straight on the shoe. If I follow this flash actually goes passing by the shoe. I only use the edge of the flash that will touch uh, a bit and that will make this nice gradient on the shoe. So if I shoot, shoot like I did in the beginning, if I shoot it straight on the shoe it will be flat, boring. So always feather it and move it a bit to the side. Here is the center of the flash and um, that means that this part would just would just touch it and just fading off 
and then it will look nice. As always, I was thinking maybe we should throw in some water. Always this water, come on. Well, maybe just a bit. But before we do this, should we have a black, complete back, black background? I like it like this. I love when it, there is a black background and the shoe will be very dramatic. This th 3D will have lit in it, so it's like a 3D feeling and the shoe will come out from the black. But black, gray, white photo on a thumbnail, <clears throat> you know, it's impossible. We need to have a very dramatic thumbnail. I'm shooting for the thumbnail. This is insane. But I have something hidden behind this background. There is actually a flash down there. He's just standing. He's standing down there. Let's turn it on. Now you see the background. He is standing on the floor, flash. And because it's a grid, it will not lit up the whole background. It will be like a like a beam in the, in the middle area and then fading out on the sides. So what will happen if we're putting on a, a, a gel? Let's go for the blue. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it very nice? A blue background, but maybe a green. I don't know. I will put on the green, just place it on top of the, the grid. Ah, oh, green is nice too. But maybe we should put, let's put on the blue on top of the green and then we will have more ah, greenish teal, teal blue. My favorite color, by the way. Maybe because we have two gels, we need to put up the power of the flash because you know, it needs to go through the gels. Now we're losing a bit. Now I think we should throw, put in some water and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> what I need to do now, because you know, this uh, C stand arm that's holding the shoe, it has to go away, of course. If you look at the, you know, if you look at this one, we have to retouch this away, of course. So that means I need to just take everything away. A background shot without all this stuff, then it will be easier to retouch it later. So now we will have, uh, when I take the shot now, see, there is the background clean from everything. So I hope you can take something from this one too. Uh, and do some test testing your own. Remember, if you're not subscribing, please subscribe and like it or comment or do whatever. And uh, remember, if you like to join, join at botison.se and then you will come here and you will bring anything and I will show you how to shoot it. Anything, okay? So, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. <laughs>